Uh, hey guys, uh, I'm going to be doing a different type of tutorial today uh, just because I feel a little bored. Um, I'm going to be teaching you some stuff about how to get some iOS 4 features on devices that don't particularly support it, such as my first generation iPod Touch, as you see here on the left. Uh, for comparison, I have an iOS device, like my sister's second generation iPod Touch, that does support some iOS 4 features. And I'm going to show you the similarities and differences between some of the jailbreak hacks and some of the actual um, the actual features of the operating system. So I'm going to start with the basics. I'm going to start with the uh, password lock that you normally get if you tend if you want to set it. So we're going to unlock both these devices here. And normally when you go and do your password lock, you go into your settings and then you tap general passcode lock. And then you get this four digit uh, pin pad. But when you go on the second generation or any other generation, you see here, if you can read that, it says there is a switch for a simple passcode. And the simple passcode is what you see here on the left, which is this uh, pin pad here with the numbers. If you turn that off and then you need to turn your passcode on, you'll notice that you get an actual keypad with letters instead of just numbers, and that is obviously safer. Um, and then you can just type in whatever, and then you'll get that as your passcode. So, since the iOS 4 device, which is my sister's second-gen iPod, like I said, actually supports that, um, and my uh, iPod Touch first generation doesn't, I'm going to show you how to um, get jailbreak hack so that you can actually do that. Um, actually, this doesn't need, it doesn't require a jailbreak. Um, I've actually tested this while my device was not jailbroken. Um, I found this website that you can use. It's called um, the mod is called Letterlock, and you can't see. It, I apologize. I'll post a link in the description. But um, it's http colon forward slash slash uh, iphone letterlock dot imodzone dot net. And if you go to that website on your iPhone or iPod Touch that doesn't support this, um, again, your device doesn't have to be jailbroken. But when you load this, you get to this site that looks like this. And it says iPhone, iPod Touch, letter lock. When you tap on that, it will take you to your settings. And from there, it will pull up another screen that looks like this. And it says iPod, iPhone, iPod Touch. Uh, the description is changes iPhone slide to unlock passcode lock into letters. Uh, to just, so you just install it, which is this button here. So you tap install. And then you say install now. And what that does is it will install this little tweak into your OS. And then it says enter a strong passcode with one or more characters. So I'm just going to type in hi, simple. Then hit next, and then type it in again. Hit next. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this with the actual iOS 4 feature. So passcode lock, simple off. Turn the passcode on, and I'm going to type in a high. Then next, and a high again. Next. Okay, now this is this iPod is right. This iPod, it will give you a verification screen saying that you installed it. Click done, or tap it. It will bring you back this screen. Now, one, from there, you're going to close out of your mobile Safari or whatever mobile browser you use. Go to your settings. Actually, I think you just turn it off or lock it, and it'll work. But turn it off or lock it, and unlock it. If my iPod will work, I have a tapper, and there you go. You have this elegant keypad that, if I show here, looks remarkably similar, if not almost exact to the actual um, iOS 4 device, which is, again, my sister's iPod. So, again, you just type in the passcode, hi, tap OK, or hit the return key, and it'll unlock. Same goes for this one. 
hit OK or the return key, and boom, unlocked. Um, so the pros and cons against this. Pros is that for uh, non-supported iOS 4 devices, you can get this uh, little tweak. Um, it's e pretty easy to uninstall as well if you don't want it. Um, again, you don't have to have your device jailbroken. This actually works on lower operating systems like uh, 3.0 instead of 4.0, because I'm running 3.0 on this right now. Um, it's really easy. You just go to the website, click on it, and hit install. And yeah, that's the pros. The cons are is that you can't easily swap in and out between a simple passcode like you can here. You can't like literally toggle it on and off that easily. You have to like uninstall if you want a simple passcode again. The gang is turn off. See, the thing is that obviously if it's installed natively within the OS, then it's a lot easier to turn on and off and switch between a simple four-digit passcode versus an alphanumeric keypad passcode. One thing I forgot to mention to you guys is how to uninstall this uh, little tweak in case you don't like it. And uh, if you saw before the little um, uh, little thing that I had where if I tap my settings app and then it brought back the installation screen, it's because if you see that little blue icon, that's my backgrounder uh, app. So what you have to do is if you have that enabled, you have to quit out of your settings first and then make that background icon go away. Then you tap in the settings app and you get your normal settings back. Um, so that's something I had trouble with. Uh, then you go to general and then you go to the very bottom and you see profile. You do not go to the letter lock. You go to the profile at the bottom where it says iPhone iPod touch let which is the letter lock and then you tap the remove button if you wish to remove. And it will ask for a confirmation you want to remove and then you tap remove, it will prompt you for your password, enter your password, and then it will begin to remove that letter lock. Once it's done, you'll see that that profile tab is not there anymore, and you'll see that when you go into your, your letter lock, oops, turn off your passcode, okay, and then if you go in again, it will bring back your normal four digit pin pad. And yeah, so that is how you can easily um, get an alphanumeric keypad um, pass lock on any uh, I do iOS device that doesn't support the current Apple iOS 4 um, mobile operating system. I uh, hope you enjoy. I hope this tutorial was rather well. This is the first time I'm actually doing uh, something like this. So let me know what you guys think and I'll try to do more of these in the future.